You are welcome to my channel. Let's get straight to the point, okay? We are asked to simplify 3 root 2 minus root 32 plus root 50 plus root 98. To simplify a third, you need to split that number into two parts. One is going to be a perfect square, the other one is going to be an ordinary number. Now, first of all, what is a perfect square? A perfect square is that number that you can get its square root without that, the, the square root is without a decimal. For example, um, 25 is a perfect square. Why? If you say root 25, you are going to get 5. It's not a decimal, it's a whole number. Now, for example, again, root um, 9 is what? 3. So it means that 9 is a perfect square. 25 is also a perfect square. So when you're asked to simplify sort, you're going to put that sort into a perfect square and an ordinary number. Now, let's do that. The question says we should simplify what? 3 root 2 minus root 32 plus root 50 plus root 98 now this 3 root 2 is in its simplest form so we are going to write it again 3 root 2 this is equal to minus this is our problem this root 32 is not in its simplest form okay so how do we now simplify it looking at this number this 32 how do we get the two numbers that we are going to use to simplify it you are going to write your 32 and you're going to draw your line. I'm just giving you the simplest way you can do it so that you don't, you understand, so that you will get your, you'll get your answer right. This takes two now. The simplest number that can divide it, the smallest number that can divide it is two. Okay? So we go in with two. Two divide three, you're going to have one, one, remainder, one. If we divide 12, you're going to have what? Six. Now, I'm going to stop here. Why? Because I've gotten a perfect square. Whether the perfect square is here or here, I've gotten a perfect square, I'll stop. Because this means that 2 times 16 will give me 32. So I'm now going to rewrite this root 32 as root what? 16 times 2. Do you understand? Root 16 times 2. Okay, we are done with what? Root 32. Let's go in with 2, root 15. Now, we are going to divide again with the smallest number possible. Now, what is the smallest number here? Smallest number that can divide 50 is 2. So we go in with 2. If 2 divides 5, you are going to have uh, 2, 2 remainder 1. If it divides 10, you are going to have 5. All right. If you look at this, we have 2 and 25. I will stop again. Why? Because I know that 25 is a perfect square. Square root of 25 will give me 5. So it means that 2 times this 25 will give me 50. So I will stop. I will now write plus what? Root 25 times 2. Okay? Plus, we are now, what is remaining now? Root 98, right? The same thing. What is the smallest number that can divide 98? 2. So if 2 divide 9, you are going to have 4, 4 remainder 1. If it divides 18, you are going to have 9. I will also stop here because 49 is a perfect square. Okay, as well, I've not gotten a perfect square, I'll continue to divide until I get a perfect square, either here or here. Okay, now 2 times 49 will give us 98, so I'm going to stop here because root 49 will give me 7. Now, I'm going to replace this root 98 with what? Root 49 times 2. Okay, so we are through with this. So this is equal to 3 root 2 minus, you split this. You split them. So it's now going to be root 16 times root 2. Okay? Split them. All right. Plus, you are going to split this one to what? Root 25 times 2. Plus, you're also going to split this one to what? Root 7. Sorry. Root 49 times root 2. All this, this one has root as well. Root 2. Okay, now I've splitted them. Okay, 
if you have followed me to this stage, it means that you are actually enjoying what I'm doing. So I will advise at this point for you to subscribe to this channel if you have not done that and click your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video because I won't like to miss you in my new, in my next video. Okay? Alright, please also give it a, a thumbs up so that the, the video can spread so that students can actually see this and learn from it. Alright, now when you see this, what do we do at this point this is equal to 3 root 2 minus now what is root 16 root 16 is 4 so you now write 4 root 2 because 4 times root 2 is 4 root 2 so we have simplified this now this 4 root 2 is the simplest form of root 32 okay all right let's go ahead now what is root 25 root 25 is 5 times root 2 is root 2 so you have 5 root 2. So it means that 5 root 2 is the simplest form of what? Root 50. Alright. Plus you have root 49 which is what? 9. Which is what? 7. So you write your 7 times root 2 means root 2. Okay. At this point now, there is something called similar sorts. Similar sorts. Now what are similar sorts? Similar sorts are those numbers that have what? Similar sorts. <laughs> Let me just explain it with what we have here so that you understand it very well. This is 3 root 2. Notice that all of them has what? They have root 2, root 2, root 2, root 2. It means that they are what? Similar sorts. Do you understand? Alright. All of them are similar because they have the same sort attached to them. So this is 3 root 2. 4 root 2, 5 root 2, 7 root 2. So they are similar sorts. Now, how do you solve similar sorts? To solve similar sorts is very easy. All you need to do is you, you have to solve their words, their coefficients, and you are going to re, uh, write root 2 as the final answer. Now, just see what I mean. You are going to write this 3, open your bracket, this 3 minus this 4 plus this 5 plus this 7 everything root 2 you see how easy it is 3 minus 4 plus 5 plus 7 root 2 okay now this is equal to 3 minus 4 is going to give us what minus 1 right minus 1 plus 5 minus 1 plus 5 now, when you have something like this, it is the same thing as, let me bring it out so that it will not look like. So, we have 3 minus 4 will give us minus 1. So, minus 1 plus 5, minus 1 plus 5 is the same thing as, if you write your clause first, okay, you can decide to write this one with positive sign first. So, if I write it first, you know that plus 5 is the same thing as 5. Alright, 5 minus 1. So you are going to have what? You are going to have 4. So it means that minus 1 plus 5 is equal to what? 5 minus 1, which will give us 4. So it means that 3 minus 4 will give us minus 1. Minus 1 plus 5 will give us what? 4. Then 4 plus 7 is going to give us 11. 4 plus 7 will give us 11. So it means that this is equal to what? 11 root 2. And this becomes our final answer. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.